Welcome to the last race of this Women's World Tour race, Madrid Challenge by La Vuelta, 87 kilometers through the streets of the beautiful Spanish capital. Riders are preparing themselves for the final shot of victory of the 2016 season. Megan Garnier has secured her Women's World Tour jersey and it is the Canadian Lea Kirschman who is trying to lock down the second place. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic that we have the opportunity to race here. Um, it's, it's a great platform for women's cycling being associated with the Vuelta and I hope um, yeah, it would be great if it, if it continues to grow in the future and we can profit from the exposure that the Vuelta has for the men to, to also um, give the women a little more exposure as well. It's pretty exciting to have in the World Tour 13 one-day races and four stage races, many of those part of and in conjunction with the men's World Tour races, which puts women's racing you know, at the top of the pedestal. To have Le Madrid Challenge as part of the Vuelta on the final day, the final stage, what a platform, broadcast 190 countries around the world. I haven't done the Madrid Challenge, so I watched it from my sofa last year, but I expect um, it's going to be much like La Course. Um, really fast and furious, but actually a hard circuit. It looks like it's got a, a little hill in it. I haven't uh, seen the course yet, but I hear it is a bit of an uphill drag, and I do like that kind of sprint. Um, we have a really strong team here, and I think we've shown in past races we can execute a good lead out. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're hoping for a good race and that our, our tactics come together for the win. It's a really nice uh, race because it's a circuit, every lab is plenty of people. And it's really nice because I've been last year and I try to, try to help my sprinter and also won Leon that this year it was my she was my teammate. So it's a really nice remember because I hope we try, we try to repeat this result. Yeah, it, it means a lot to me to um, to be so highly ranked this season. It definitely exceeds my expectations of how I would do this year. Um, and I think. Yeah, just just seeing who else is up there, it shows it definitely shows the riders that uh, can consistently perform the whole season across um, a lot of different kinds of races. Yeah, I mean, La Corse starting three years ago, Madrid maybe something in the Giro in the future. It's definitely a start for women's cycling, and I hope people tune in because it's going to be a, a really fun race to watch. So, uh, what can ex we can expect from you? Um, this year we've been trying to nail the lead out, so for us that's going to be our main focus today, really have a crack at the sprint finish and back our sprinter Roy. Um, we're going to put all our eggs in that basket. I had to come here to Madrid to see the final stage of the first ever Women's World Tour La Madrid Challenge and hundreds of bike riders here vying it out for the ultimate title of Women's World Tour. We know who's going to win already, but it's going to be a spectacular race to end the first season. And it will be spectacular. The women line up for the start of the Madrid Challenge. Who will win this race today? There are a few favorites for the victory. Italian Marta Bastianelli is looking strong and also Eugenia Bujak, who won the last women's world tour race in Plouay, is a major contender. Maybe her team will have something up their sleeves. Belgian rider Jolien Dora said last week that she is ready for Madrid after her comeback from the Olympic track in Rio. Carmen Small is also looking for the first win of the season for Silence Pro Cycling maybe here in Madrid. So they have started the 15 laps of 5.8 kilometers, and then we will know who will win the last women's world tour race of the season. We have a couple of attacks, but nothing stays away. After 30 minutes of racing, we have the first intermediate sprint. It is Mia Radotic of BTC Ljubljana, who's picking up all the 10 points, followed by Jesse Drauts. Plista, Trevisi and Barbieri take the rest of the points. Eri Jonamine of the French team Poitiers Choran Futuroscope is placing an attack with success because she is getting more than 12 seconds of the peloton. She will get company of Garcia, Plichta, Van Gogh and Artsufi. The Japanese is twice national champion of her country and she can definitely race. Then on the second intermediate sprint we see that Emilia Radocic has a plan for today and she is picking up another 10 points. Plichta, Van Gogh, Garcia and Jonamina still have a 10 second lead over the peloton. But it seems that the peloton has had enough of the break and slowly the riders are getting reeled in. With 56 kilometers to go, the merge is a fact and the whole peloton is back together again. Now it is Mia Radotic that is sprinting again for the points and with ease she's taking all the 10 points. 
Now it's Claudia Lichtenberg that is placing an attack and she's getting a small group with her. And the speed is going up. In the back of the peloton it is so hard to hang on and more and more riders are dropped. Then it is Radotic that picked up another 10 points in the intermediate sprint. Again with Plichta and Van Gogh in her wheel. Now the peloton is taking a small break and at the next sprint it is Radotic that is securing her spot on the podium for the sprints. When she wins another sprint with Plichta second. Lichtenberg managed to pull away from her followers and has 19 seconds over the bunch. She has the Italian Simona Frapporti in her wheel and they are riding hard and faster to try to stay away from the claws of the rushing peloton. Liv Plantour is controlling the front of the peloton right now and hoping to get Kirchmann fresh to the sprint. Here we see that Radotic is the winner of the sprint classification. Going into the final 5.8 kilometers, it is still Lichtenberg and Fraporti in the lead. They have a 22 second lead over the peloton. And the peloton seems to reel the two in. 15 seconds remained of their lead. At 4 kilometers, there's a big crash in front of the peloton. An Orica rider is smashing hard on the tarmac, taking some riders with her. The peloton is coming in full speed and the two are reeled back in at 3 kilometers to go. Bulls is riding for Black and Wiggle High Five is riding for Hosking and Dora. And it seems that Jolene Dora of Wiggle High Five has the better legs today and she wins the Madrid Challenge by La Vuelta. Yeah, last week it was Bulls Rental Ladies Tour. It was my first race after the Olympics and uh, I struggled a bit, uh, especially the first few days. But uh, in the end I could find my road legs back and uh, I came quite confident to this race and I, know, I knew I could pull it off if, if it was a bunch sprint, so uh, that's what I did. But uh, where did, was the team going for Chloe or for you? Yeah, that was actually the question during the race. Uh, we spoke to each other and we both felt good. But Chloe said immediately to me, I will do the lead out because uh, that worked a, a lot of times in the past. And uh, that's what we did and I'm so happy Chloe came second as well. So here on the podium at Madrid, how does that feel? Yeah, it feels real special. There's a big crowd and uh, yeah, they were, they were amazing. And uh, you can feel that there's another atmosphere now because of the men's racing here as well. And uh, yeah, it was special. So I was trying uh, how my uh, legs are and then I uh, get some points and so I keep going. And when it was breakaway, then uh, it's our other girls. So we have first and second position in intermediate sprints. Uh, being here on the podium, seeing all the crowds and on the, on the parkour as well, uh, does that help you? Of course, of course, when you see all the people cheering you up for you and everything screaming, it's so nice to like, now I get like a little bit, so it's really, really nice to race here. It feels good. It was a team effort all year. We came into every race with uh, an idea to win the race or how to make the race aggressive. And it just so happens that at the end of the year, the, the jersey's on my back, but uh, it's certainly a team effort. And of course, we won the, the team overall. So I think that goes to show how strong Bulls Women's is. So the Women's World Tour here in Madrid, how, do, how does it feel to be on the podium here with all those, all those crowds? Yeah. Um, it, it's cool like it's a, to have another women's event alongside uh, well-established men's races. It's, it's a great step for women's cycling. So Jolien Dore of Wiggle High Five is the stage winner of the Madrid Challenge by La Vuelta, followed by her teammate Chloe Hosking. Marta Bastianelli of Ale Cipollini completes the podium. Megan Garnier of Bulls Dolmans is the first ever to win the Women's World Tour with 946 points. With her 11th place finish here in Madrid, Lea Kiegman of Liv Plantour is securing her second place and has 624 points. Lizzie Armitstedt completes the podium with 545 points. Polish rider Kasia Niewiadoma is the first ever winner of the Women's World Tour Young Rider classification with 36 points, followed by Dutch Florcia Makai with 18 points. The Spanish Sheila Gutierrez Ruiz jumped over Jip van der Bos and finished this season on the third place, also with 18 points. And that concludes the Women's World Tour of 2016. Next up, the World Championships in Doha, Qatar.